Hi Pisces, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for July 2020 and I'm doing my nine card spread um, the Querent card or the overall energy week one, two, three and four and the clarification cards they clarify the tarot or the tarot clarifies the mum then I've got the Angel Oracle deck um, the Advice card, Surrender deck and an answer from the angels. Now, if you're a cyber angel, welcome back and thank you very much for all your likes and shares. And um, you came in um, around the ninth place. Uh, you came in after Cancer. You only you had 16 uh, votes, and you came in together with Aries. So, thank you very much for all your likes. So, if you would like to be number one in the romance readings next month, then keep on clicking on the thumbs, my darlings. And please join us, uh, jo join me and the other Cider Angels um, in the live sessions. As you know, I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I give free cards away unless there is a specific theme evening. Um, and I also answer questions that are supported by a donation. Also, if you would like to have an extensive reading, personal extensive reading, then look below the video for the information and uh, or in the right top hand corner. Um, we, I was doing a competition, but nobody entered the competition. We had the discussion on Friday or a review about the competition on Friday and it was a lovely interaction evening and discussions and they uh, what came out was that people love to interact with uh, each other and with me and um, there were some great discussions we were discussing things like astrology and zodiac signs so uh, we can learn from each other so after the summer holidays there will be an other interaction evening and um, now I'm going on to your reading my darlings and if you're new welcome uh, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I do notify uh, on Facebook and Instagram that I go live and what time and also on the community tab in YouTube um, as I've had a lot of complaints or rather <coughs> uh, notifications that people are not getting uh, you know, notified by YouTube okay we are going to start with your Quirin card and you've got a beautiful reading this month uh, Pisces because we start off with the star card and we all know what the star card means your wish or your goal is coming true. Whoopee! You might meet an Aquarius. You might be meeting an Aquarius as the star card also represents Aquarius. Now, you've got a lot of choices if I can see this month. It's not only Aquarius, but you can see Aquarius back in your first card as well as you've got the Ace of Swords that means victory is yours and the swords represents Gemini Libra and Aquarius you have the um, uh, which you call it you've got the wreath of victory as well just to symbolize it and really project that and take note victory is yours in love okay the swords also stand for communication and wisdom and justice and clarity. Something will become clear to you. Perhaps it might become clear to you which of the air signs or which person around you is in love with you or might fancy you or wants more than just friendship. Lovely. That's nice, nice opening. In the second week we have the cups the ace of cups and your cup is overflowing so 
you might meet a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. These people are also um, loving, passionate, nurturing and caring and sexy or handsome and sensual. Ooh, you've got good combinations here and yes a lot of people think that air signs are uh, floating uh, in the air and they're not with the program well I'll give you a bit of news since I'm an air sign um, if you really fall in love we fall in love hook line and sinker we give it all and we usually burn out right uh, if uh, because we are spontaneous we've got a sense of humor um, we do love our people like I said if we love if we fall in love and we love we protect with the sword and the shield we are just like Archangel Michael so you've got beautiful people in here you've got the cups in the air and remember we're not just a zodiac sign we are made up of more we are made up of planets elements uh, uh, like Saturn uh, mutual or um, I forgot the other one uh, or cardinal uh, things there's so much more to a zodiac sign it all dep also depends where you're born and uh, what time you are born because the planets keep on moving like earth that has influence so we are all individual and this also came back in the discussion on Friday it was lovely to discuss but back to your reading your your reading starts off really well your wish coming true victory your cup is running over what more do you want get out of your head and stop being depressed or moping about look what is on offer there's the hand, the hand of the divine the hand of the divine is offering you something so get up dust yourself off if you're not hooked up there will be somebody there for you but you have to do something you have to come into action you have to feel good so you are shining okay so your aura your chakras can shine open that solar plex in the heart and your mind to new possibilities there are beautiful things around you and it's happening really rapidly only if you look up and around that is in the third week you might think oh it hasn't happened yet no it won't love is not going to knock on your door you have to go out there and put yourself out there and be noticed somebody is out there and is noticing you but perhaps they are just as shy as you are so go out there and be talkative like an air sign be nurturing caring and sensual like a water sign we have all these aspects things are going to happen pretty fast you are going to get messages news through cyber this could be through text message this could be through email this could be through a phone call things are going to happen diddly dee 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 and you've got a second car I just seen it I'm oh, sorry I wasn't even conscious of that I'm so happy this reading is making me happy Pisces so your wish is coming true and again you have the star from the Lena mum and that is confirming the star in the middle of the reading you and victory there we go you're going to get messages you might wish that you want uh, that you could hear from a specific person well your wish is going to come true you've got the double wish there be careful what you wish then in the second corner we have the ring you are partnering up you're going out for a uh, romantic dealers Ooh, nice one you are partnering up 
or you might be getting engaged or getting married this month. Who knows? Only you. You know what resonates with you. And it might come all of a sudden. You might you might be wishing, I want to get married, I want to get married. And you might actually get married. Okay. You might be going out with somebody and you want to get married. So for those that aren't uh, hooked uh, married yet and you are living together, there might be all of a sudden a surprise. You might just get married and it will happen unexpectedly and fast. And you might be traveling, like I said. So that could be a honeymoon. Wow. See what is on offer. Um, perhaps you don't can't decide where you would like to travel to on your honeymoon. But there are special offers because the lockdown is over. Or oh, basically it is eased off and you have the key so you hold the key look through the keyhole then you can see a lot of newsletters official documents okay so the official documents could be letters of love could be a marriage certificate since you've got the ring here okay so take action wake up be a beacon of love and shine and get your victory. Ah, for some of you it might be family um, that is important. You might be extending your family. Okay, the people that are hooked up. You might be finding out you're pregnant. Perhaps that is your wish and it is happening. You've put down roots with this partner. Okay. You are there for a long term, hopefully your whole life. Your health, it could be something with your health. Your health might not be all it is because you're sitting inside, okay? And now the lockdown is slacking off, you can go outside, but be careful and you can see each other again if you haven't seen your partner for a while if you don't live together and if you are not permanently hooked up yet perhaps now this COVID has uh, re made you realize and the other how uh, loving uh, how in love you are and now finally you can get married because you don't ever want to be separated again this is awesome and you your wish is coming true perhaps that is why you have been depressed if you're not hooked up yet and if you are hooked up then you are glad you can go out with your loved one that is perhaps your wish it could be so simple just to take care of your family and just to love your partner and um, do things together, go on holiday. So perhaps he or she is coming with news, with an offer to go on holiday or to go away for the weekend so that you can relax and feel less stressed and not locked down so that you get depressed all day. Okay, now we have from the romance of the angels we have pay attention to the red flags pay attention to the red flags um, when we when we hear this it's usually like the red flags at the beach you're not allowed to swim between the two red flags or outside the red flags I don't swim anymore and I don't go to the beach so <laughs> I've forgotten what it meant but the red flags is a warning. This could be positive and this could be negative Pisces. Like the warning here in this uh, reading is that you've got two star cards. That is the warning. Be aware. Be awake. Look what's happening around you so that you can see your wish can come to fulfillment but you must take action. 
Okay. Now, you have the surrender card. Surrender your fear to intimacy. Well, if you're not hooked up and you might get scared of intimacy, then try to find a solution to this. There are people uh, around you that can help you. Like if it is to do with your health, that you have something that it would hurt you or the other person because of health issues, then talk to your GP about it. There could be an other solution. Um, there could be a different solution for your issue. You can love. Everybody can love. And you can love in different ways. Just remember, to be intimate also means holding hands, um, hugging, not only kissing but also hugging, putting an arm around the shoulder. The touch is enough. I know we weren't allowed to touch each other if we were from different households, but talk to your G GP about it. Don't be scared, okay? The things are turning around again and perhaps even better who knows but there is different ways of letting your showing your affection don't be scared that um, you will catch COVID if you are being touched you are ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart here you are come into action get out of your mind open your heart let it happen let it happen we all need touch we all need love we all need soft words do I have to be scared that is what I'm hearing no you don't have to be scared I know some people are scared because they have um, they have a phobia of being touched or being um, what you call it infected by bacteria there are ways to love okay you can hold hands for example with gloves then you are touching each other to everything there is a solution you can also learn to trust somebody um, that is only yours and that with that closeness you might feel safer that you are not touching somebody dirty somebody is clean because you know them they live with you but I know it can be hard if you do have a handicap like that so ask for help from the right person not only your partner but also your GP or a therapist that can that knows how to treat people with anxieties I hope this reading has helped you and supported you by mentioning this because we are all different and we are all loved and we all need love but you have to meet everybody halfway and don't be scared to ask for help if you have fear or a phobia okay that could be your red flag that could be your red flag okay so take charge come out of your head and depression ask for help the hand is there the hand is reaching out I think this is a very moving reading and I hope for those people that need help support I mean not help help but support and nurturing and loving and understanding Re take that hand okay I can't say it strong enough whether you're hooked up or whether you're alone sometimes our life changes and we feel alone 
let it be known how you feel open your heart and communicate that's the first step if you are partnered up and all of a sudden you are anxious or scared let your partner know victory is yours your cup will flow over with love because they do love you if you are hooked up and if you're not hooked up and you're scared of meeting anybody because of this sort of issue then talk about it with them not on your first date but go out for a cup of coffee or a lemonade and talk about it okay they might have a phobia as well be open to that so by talking you get to know each other and that's the way to go about it that's where you start I wish everybody a beautiful July take care and God bless please like and subscribe and if you want to be the first one then hit that like button thank you ciao ciao and see you in the life